Alright, welcome to, welcome back to my channel, this is my 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 64, 68, 69, 64, 64, 66, 67, 68, 69, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 81, 82, 84, 85th video! I'm just crazy. Um, this is going to be a video. Um, it's collection update, but also like series that I bought between 2019 and 2020. So the first one I bought in the summer of 2019, but I first heard in 2000 and one to 2003. Um, everyone that knows who this fan is. But it was a new one in my collection, so it is Pantara Vulcan Display of Power. Here we go, Pantara Vulcan Display of Power. This is their sixth flying club. Um, great album. Obviously a classic. Auric is really cool. And uh, the front there. And the back. Original lineup. Well, not original, original lineup, but original, like, you know, power model lineup that everybody knows. Um, and not power model, but genre. Pantera had an album called Power Model, which was from someone's first album, so, yeah, um, Cowards from Hell is not the first Pantera album, it is actually their fifth album, but anyways, uh, Trick Listing, Mouth for War, um, New Level, Walk, F and Hostile, This Love, Rise, No Good Attack the Radical, Live in a Hole, Regular People Conceit, by Demons Be Driven, Hollow, um, produced and engineer and mixed by Terry Date and Vinnie Paul, co produced by Pantera, uh, 1992 original person. Yo, that's a disc there. Awesome disc. Americans are there, it's front, phone demo on the back. And then close like so, so lyrics, and pictures, and then the other side. As you can see. Yeah, uh, just classic Pantero. And I definitely needed it in my collection for sure. It's Pantera Vulgar Display of Power. Awesome album. Needs no introduction. Pantera Vulgar Display of Power. Great album. Great album. Next up is going to be 
a old school version block model band. Um, it's a fairly new block model band as well. This band is called Northville, formed in 2015 when Schwein um, couldn't handle himself in Red Rock no longer, unfortunately, and then he formed Northville in 2015 after the Sick of Pathology uh, record, which he did play on. We don't have the tour, obviously, because um, of personal issues. And then, yeah, in 2016, released their uh, self total debut full length, Being Rogerville, which also features a original Demu, well, not uh, original, but Demu Borgir's second bassist, uh, Nagash, as well, which is awesome. And then in 2018, they released a Craig Smack to E single. And the Sunset Glow single, uh, no, the Sunset Glow single 2019. And then they released their second full length album on Osmo's Productions, being Necrogenesis. And then more recently, they released their Crick Smack single. Um, and yeah, they're just one of the better black metal bands from the new age of um, black metal, I believe so. So, yeah. Northville Man, Necrogenesis, this is their second falling film, uh, released on Ozmos Productions. It's from, just look at that artwork. Pure Black Model. And uh, the pack as well. Correct listing, Sunset Glow, Devilry, The Idea of Oneness, Black Lights from the Void, Ebonors. The Feverland Lands, Nizer and Necrophilia, Apocalypsis, Eschaton, and Pez, Panzer Rengel. Uh, www.osmoisproductions.com. Osmois Productions 2019, published by Liz Editions, Rolantes, Osmois Productions. Yeah, awesome. Freaking block mode. Disclare, Always Moist Productions, Compact Disc, Digital Audio, OP, CD360, Always Moist Productions, 2019, Published by List, Editions, Relentes, yeah, just awesome block model. All right, inside. Into there, it's front, and then it's back there. The work, uh, lyrics and artwork inside. Just absolutely freaking savage artwork, which I freaking love, and static lyrics. That's what Black Model is all about, man. Uh, more satanic imagery and lyrics there. Band picture inside. More satanic imagery and lyrics there. More satanic imagery and lyrics there. And more uh, dark artwork and lyrics there again. So yeah, uh, Doug Morel vocals. He was also in Anopsigis, another freaking sick black metal band. The structure of Myrick Skog and Morbid Angel. Guitars and backing vocals. Septa kind of bass and backing vocals of Criterion. And also a Ragnarok, obviously not the original Ragnarok bassist. Dominator Drums, um X Dark Funeral, obviously not the original Dark Funeral drummer either. Drums, guitars, bass and vocals recorded at Velvet Recording. Speederberg Norway by Norgeville and Chris Gra, mix and master by Patrick Garrett at WSL Studios, Auric Leo and design by Vincent Forquet for Above Chaos, all music lyrics by Norgeville, Norgeville wants to send a big salute to the following, Paravella, Stifford Have, 
John Arden Sandin, Morpheus Noir, and to all you support us, you know who you are. So yeah, uh, awesome black model. LP C D three sixty, LP C D L three sixty. Just amazing black model from Rowe. Great band, I've seen them live and they are freaking insane live. Let's just put it that way. Yeah, great band, check them out. Alright, next up, it's a classic, but, um, I didn't have it in my collection, and the only open films that I had was Blackwater Park and Damnation, which I love, but, um, this I love as well, so, this is the original pressing of Deliverance, which, as you know, is Opus 1, 2, 3, 4, Five six full length album. Uh, I'll show you it right now. There you go. Alpha Deliverance, progressive death model at its freaking finest. Great album, amazing artwork as well. It's front and uh, the back there. It's reckless scene. Wraith, very heavy track. Deliverance, very gimme. Inferno Judgment, very atmospheric. Props and Friends, very melancholic. Masters of Princes, very just brutal. Um, but the Penancy and others, awesome track as well. Thousand and K, Music for Nations. Um, Thousand and Six, Sony BMG Music Entertainment UK Limited. Attributed by Sony Music Entertainment. All trademarks and logos are protected. Sony and BMG. Using the name Sony BMG Music Entertainment and in the Sony BMG Music Entertainment, well, those are trademarks and are used on a license from Sony Corporation and recommend being actually respectfully made in the EU. PM Gemma LCA 1385 Sony BMG Music Relations, Music Relations Records. So, yeah, this is the original person, man. Stick there. That's the disc there. Again, the truck listing. Wraith, Deliverance, and Furrow Judgment. Verbs and Friends, Masters of Apprentices, but the Penancy and others. Yeah, just amazing home. Absolutely freaking amazing home. Seriously, it's all good. All right, Kinside. That's the artwork, that's the artwork concert, with the artwork front and back there. Sony BMG, Music Entertainment, Music for Nations, 2002, Music for Nations, 2006, Sony BMG, Music Entertainment UK Limited, 8287683732. Yeah, so original person, artwork on the artwork concert. Our work on the Arab side. Our work on the Arab side. Then a uh, photo inside, uh, which one of Michael Arcafil, Peter Lind Lindgren, Martin Mendez, and Martin Lopez. He left, unfortunately. Our work on the Arab side. Our work on the Arab side. I reckon information inside. So yeah, then that's Alpha's Deliverance. Awesome progressive death model. Just amazing. Absolutely freaking amazing. That's Alpha's Deliverance. Classic golden. Classic progressive death model. Done right without sounding like Obscura. Obscura freaking Obscura's earlier stuff is awesome, but the newer stuff is complete work. Alright, so next up is a um, underground old school thrash metal band. And you may be surprised where these guys are actually from, but these guys are based out of North England. Um, 
been a huge fan of these guys since they first started. Um, so yeah, uh, formed in 2009, and it is a band called Shrapnel. Um, it was two EPs, um, 2009, being No Saviors, which was independently released. The Devastation of Come EP, which was independently released. Um, Titan Single, which was, uh, released on Candlelit Records, so the first, like, label signing. And then their debut following album, um, Virus Conspires was released in 2014 on Candlelight Records. And then in 2017, they released their second full length and third one with Jay Hadley, unfortunately, uh, being raised on K. How I can describe Crabble is like old school Critter. So, yeah, if you love old school Critter, um, check out Crabble. They're freaking sick. I love the new album, don't get me wrong, but the stuff that Jay Hadley did is way better than Aaron Jackie Tucker's vocals. Let's just put it that way. Yeah, this is Shrapnel, Rise on a K, it's front, and um, back there, a track listing, Hollow Earth, Complete Reception, The Boundary Set, Jester, Pariah, Echoes of Emptiness, Card from Above, 101, Rise on a K, Choir of Wolves, Bonus Antichrist, Slayer Cover. Yeah, um, Spawn from Records, www.spawnformrecords.com, Commerce Reserved, Unauthorized Coffee and Reproduction, Harvard Lending, Public Performance, and Broadcast and Prohibited, uh, CMP 2017, Tanglid Limited, and Candlelight Records printed in the U. That's just clear. That's just clear. Like, tell me if that all right, because it reminds you of all two of one one. Totally. Just freaking sick. All right, inside. Uh, lyric insert there, it's for, and then back there. Jay Hadley and the Rick Snarrow inside. Nathan Sade and the Rick Snarrow inside. Chris Martin and the Rick Snarrow inside. Band picture there. Kai Borchnar and Lyric Snarrow Kinzoid. Jonathan Grimley and Lyric Snarrow Kinzoid. All work and information inside. Yeah, struggle right on a K. Great band. Yeah, awesome band. From art, absolutely. All right, next up is a uh, Black and Death Model Classic. Now, you might be thinking, what? Sepulchre is not black metal? I know what I'm thinking because there are other albums. Well, Schizophrenia is a Death Thrash model album. Beneath the Remains is a uh, Technical Thrash model. Arise is Death Thrash model. Um, Kyosity is Groove metal. And then Roots is New Model. But yeah, um, their first album was actually a Black and Death model album. And I'm, of course, talking about Morbid Visions and Vestial Devastation. There we go. 
uh, more revisions, best of devastation. All work was done by uh, two friends of Max Cavalera and Igor Cavalera, which I forget, forgot. Uh, but yeah, just our work is still freaking daunting. I absolutely love it. It's for in the back. Um, Shrek listing, Morbid Visions, Mayhem, Troops of Doom, War, Crucifixion, Show Me the Wrath, Sooner Rights, Emperor of the Damned, The Curse, Bestial Devastation, Antichrist, Necromancer, Warriors of Death, Necromancer, Demo Virgin, Anti Cop Life, Bunny Tracks, Rotten Records, uh, Resurrected your firmware of the All Blacks BB. Correct 1 to 14, 1985, 1986, 1990. Kokomolo Produces, Produces, uh, Shrek Within, 1996, All Blacks BB. 1985, 1986, Kokomolo Produces, 1991, The All Blacks BB, uh, this reissue, P and C, uh, 1997, The All Blacks BB. R eight seven six twelve two zero one six one eight seven six twelve two. That's just a barcode. Don't really care about that. Uh, Roadrunner Records. So this is not the original person by any means. Here's the disc. That's a disc there. Um, awesome. Yeah. Picture inside. Very cool. So show the two sides. Um this is the Morbid Vision side. And this is the best of devastation side. Pictures and lower else inside. One up, uh, Paul Jr. bass, Acre Cavalera drums, Max Cavalera vocals on the guitar, and Gerald T. lead guitar. Um, picture and lower else inside. And just uh, pictures and lower else inside. Yeah. And pictures and information about the album inside and the uh, track listing. Yeah, man. Uh, awesome um, black and death model. Yeah, Sepultura, man. Awesome. Best of Devastation and Morbid Visions. Absolutely freaking sick black death model. Now next up, um, I'm so happy that I have this in my collection. <sighs> yeah, I do love Korg, and um, I got this in Nation B. This is their 1994 self-titled debut full length, and it is the original pressing as well, which is even more awesome. So I'll just show you right now. There is Korn's self total debut for length. The original pressing, which is awesome. This is the front of the artwork. And uh, the back there. Korn is Jordan Davis vocals and bagpipes. Fuel the bass, J Monkey, Shaffer guitar, Brian guitar and vocals, David drums, my track listing. Uh, blind, Bolton, Me Too, Clown, Divine, Faggot, Chasing Letters, Predictable, Fake, Boys, Helmet in the Bush, and Daddy. Produced by Ross Robinson, Executive Producer Larry Weintraub. Uh, 1994, Sony Music Entertainment Inc. Epic One Registered Trademark is exclusive trademark of Sony Music Entertainment Inc. Distribution Sony Music. 
Immortal Records, Epic uh, Records Group. Yo, yeah, the original person, which is awesome. The original disc as well. I'll work inside. Man, it's great. Freaking album. This is a lyric insert, it's front and the back there. Really cool photo thing. Uh, so, photo like so. And then the other side. So, yeah, awesome. Um, again, let's rock listen. Blind, Baltoid, Me Too, Clown, Divine, Faggot, Kissing Letters, Predictable, Fake, Lawyers, Home in the Bush, and Daddy. Uh, yeah, it's great. Um, Great album, just amazing. One of the best, in my opinion. For new metal. So next up is a classic by by a model band that every model head knows and it's Judas Priest, the pink color. So right now, here we go, uh, Jerry Spruce, Pankler, Absolute, Heavy Model, Classic, Front, our work is just amazing, in the back as well. Thank you, you. Save or Indian food or something? Yeah, I just said Indian food. You want to pause your video? Yeah, it's personal um, model classic. Just for his pink color. It's for that's back there. Um, says as mankind hurled itself forever downwards into the bottomless pits of internal chaos the remnants of civilization screamed out for salvation redemption roared across the burning sky of the painkiller uh, track listing painkiller hell patrol all guns legend leather rebel model meltdown man crawler clean the hammer of the anvil the touch of evil Battle Him, One Shot of Glory, Bonus Tracks, Living Bad Friends, Little Love of Life. See the bonus track, Living Bad Friends, was recorded during the earlier years of her career. Little Rebel was recorded live during one of her many world tours. Produced by Judy Spurs and Chris Dancing Garates, originally recorded 1990, released 1990. Um, Columbia, 2001, Sony Music Entertainment, 
UK Limited Distribution, Sony Music, Columbia SG, Exclusive Trademark Market, Sony Music Entertainment Inc. www.sonymusic.co.uk So yeah, this is not the original person by any means. But I've had it since 2019, so yeah. That's a disclaimer. I'll work until I... Uh, lyric insert is front and the back. The band. Track listing. And uh, information about the album. Picture. Lyrics there. And artwork. Picture and lyrics inside. Yeah, I mean, uh, Judas Priest Pinkler. Classic. Alright, so next up is a underground German Dean metal band. And it is a really cool band, but I got by a really weird guy. Um, but this band is freaking killer, man. A uh, German D metal band called Angel of Damnation. They have one, two albums, and yeah, so they have like one, two, three releases. Um, but yeah, great band, and I'll show this to you right now. This is Angel of Damnation. Carnal Philosophy, their second floor in film. This front and uh, the back there. Adventure, guitars, bass, and keyboards. Panel Blaster Drums, Dim Cult Messiah Vocals. Um, correct question, Dim Trevor Moore. I drank the Chalice of Blood. Bet Before the Goat. Into the Coven of the Damned. Enthroned the Flesh. Cleanse the Fires of Satan. Kneel Before the Master of Thrones Records. 2011, the yeah, before the Master Throne Records. www.masterthrone.de, contact masterthrone.de. That's a disc there, as you can see. Artwork inside. I love the artwork, absolutely. Lyric can show there, uh, with your work, it's front and the back there, all work and lyric can show it, all work and lyric can show it, picture there, all work and lyric can show it, all work and lyric can show it, yeah. Uh, awesome D metal, Angel of Damnation. Check them out; they're awesome, Dan. Alright, next up. As a legendary death metal band. Um, every death metal fan knows this band. It is Possessed, uh, Revelations of Oblivion. This is their 1 to 3rd full length in 33 years. So, yeah, I'll show you right now. There we go. Possessed, Revelations of Oblivion. Awesome album. I just love their artwork. Very dark and apocalyptic, but it's great. Uh, very, very good artwork. Um, and 
the back there. Track listing, Chance of Oblivion, No More Room in Hell, Dominion, Damned, Demon, Abandoned, Theodical, Owen, Ritual, The World, Garvin, The Temple, of Zamiel. Uh, Jeff Sierra vocals, original uh, vocalist, he was still on the band. Robert Cardenas bass, he's a new bassist. Um, Claudius Krimer, their new guitarist. Emily Marquez has been in the band since 2007. And Dana Cazones has been in the band since 2012. 2019 Nuclear Blast Records. Awesome album. I also have Seven Turkeys, which is like totally different to this, but yeah. That's the disc there. Very haunting artwork. Absolutely love it. Artwork inside. Don't probably forget the last. Um. Yeah. Look into there. It's front and the back there. Little can work inside. Little can work inside. Little can work inside. Yeah, possessed man. I think every Death Metal fan knows possessed by now. Classic death model at its finest. Needs no introduction at all. Must feel so. Um, next up is going to be a Swedish old school black metal band that I got as a blind boy, my first ever blind boy. So, hey, um, <laughs> Liam's not the only one. Uh, but this is a Swedish old school black metal band called Craft. They're very much in the vein of Dark Throne, uh, especially the early stuff like The Blaze in the Sky. Also has elements of um, diabolical full moon mysticism by mortal, early Mardic as well, and early mayhem as well. So yeah, pure old school black model. Third to be full length album, uh, total Zurich, at least a thousand. Seems to the front and the back there. So a world of plague, death. To planet Earth, desolation, death, kill everything, ultimate Satan, past, present, dead, total soul rape, well and outro, frivolously chaos, total soul rape, was recorded in April, May, and June 2000, remastered in October 2002, 2018, Season of Mist, 2000 Craft, on exclusive license to Season of Mist. Susan and Miss, and I'm going to actually be Susan and Miss. com. I'll show the disc. That's the disc there. All work inside. So, I'm here. It's front and back. I've uh, gone up. Daniel drums. Boring session vocals, Michael Knox wave vocals, John Vaden rhythm guitar, Joy Com rhythm guitar, and session bass. Total Sorry was written by Kraft, except for the ultra written by Shemmy Egg for Kraft. Uh, inside, yeah, man, I love this album. It was a great find, and I absolutely adore this album. I'm really happy that I have it in my collection, man. Uh, but yeah, awesome black model from Sweden.
All right, so um, next up is a uh, first wave black metal classic that needs no introduction. So I'm just gonna show you right now. Called the Crust with the Mega Therion, 1995, uh, second falling film. Because Marble Tales was a debut falling film. This is uh, the front, Auric Dumpy HR Giger. And at the back there, Frecklessing, Innocence and Wrath, The Ursiper, Floor Throne, Dawn of Megadew, Eternal Summer, Stroke of the Tyrants, Beyond the North Winds, Fented Eyes, Turtles and Proper Scream, Necromedical Screams, Bonus Rex, Circle of the Tyrants, Emperor's Return of Peace Rack, Little Aggression, Emperor's Return of Peace Rack, Suicidal Winds, Emperor's Return of Peace Rack, Turn to Fear, Emperor's Return of Peace Sessions Rack, Little Aggression 1988 Remix, and Return to the Eve 1985 Zero Jam. That's the disc there. Well, the artwork. Artwork inside. Very cool. And band picture inside. Very cool. This is a lyric insert. Done by Asher and HR Giger. This is the front. Yeah, done by Asher Giger. He did the low, he did the Celtic Cross logo as well, which is awesome. Um in the back there. Pictures and um track listening inside. Uh, picture and album credits. Promotional photos there. Picture and um, Cut the Cross Road Crew and Special Thanks. Yep. Picture and my special thanks and um, Tragic Serenade's EP credits. Picture and lyrics inside. Uh, live picture and lyrics inside. To make a theory on a personnel overview by Xavier Russell. Original album design. A personal overview by Xavier Russell. Picture and lyrics inside. Lyrics and a picture inside. Lyrics and pictures inside. Lyrics inside. Lyrics inside. Picture and lyrics inside. Structure serenades, AP, uh, picture, and, um, to make a theory on reissue credits and reissue list of gratitude. So yeah, awesome album. Classic black metal. Alright. Last few. And then that'll be it. So next up, 
is a American old school heavy metal band that only made two albums, unfortunately. But uh, it is a side project of Slipknot and um, being George Jordison and Wednesday 13. This band is called Murder Dolls. It's their second full length album, Women and Children Last, and this album needs no introduction. Here we go. Women's Lord and Last, Lance 13, and Jordan Jordison on the front. And the back there. My track listing The World According to Revenge, Shuffle of Blood, Bored Till Death, Drug Me to Hell, Nowhere, Summertime Suicide, Death Valley Superstars, A Dark Place Alone, West on Valentine, Pieces of View, Homicide Drive. Rock and roll is all I got. Nothing's gonna be alright, whatever you got up against it, and I look up a diet. Well, I That's a disc. Um the logo is actually designed by George Artisan himself, which is awesome. Arkansas, it just says Sierra Sanitary, uh, very cool. Uh, Arwick with George Jordanson and Wins of 13. In the back, George Jordanson and Wins of 13. George Jordanson and Rick Sir. Wins of 13 and Rick Sir. Arwick and Rick Sir. Wins of 13 and George Jordanson and Rick Sir. And Charlie Curtis in the ways of their game and information is good. Yeah, we're at all when you're talking last. Awesome home. Alright. Alright, so last three and I'll be it. Alright, so next up is a, is a old school Swedish death metal classic that needs no freaking introduction. Um, it is the legendary Entombed and their debut full length um, Left Hand Path released on Eric Records in 1990. This is the uh, front Auric Dome with Dan Seagrave. And uh, the back there, track listing, left hand path, ground, reveling flesh, uh, when life is seized, supposed to write, the left goes on, bitter loss, morbid devourment, abnormally deceased, and truth beyond, carnal leftovers, and premature autopsy, eric.com, 1990 Eric Records Limited, 2018 Eric Records Limited, copyright on this sound recording. And our work is owned by Eric Records Limited, or is reserved on authorized education when hiring, lending, book performance, and broadcasting of this recording as a violation of applicable laws. You don't care about that. But uh, the music on here is freaking amazing. Heavy as all. Just, you know, solid, def amazing death model. Not the original person, obviously. This is a disc with your work. Uh, awesome freaking artwork. I absolutely love the artwork so much. Again with the track listing. Left in Beth, Ground, Ruffling Flesh. One Life is Seized, Departs the Right, 
The life goes on, better loss, more of environment, abnormally deceased. The truth beyond, Colonel of Tovers, Premature Autopsy, Eric March uh, 2 1 CD, FDR. I reckon so. Uh, if you guitars and bass, Lars, Goring, Petra, vocals, Alex, Silver guitars, Nicky Anderson, vocals and bass. Following lyrics, say eric.com slash lyrics. Yeah, this is not coming from Lyric Cancer, which is, um, strange, to say the least, but it is an awesome, old school death metal classic. Alright. Now, um, next one I'm going to be showing you is a 2020 release, and it is the new full-length film by, uh, Birmingham Death Metal Legends, Benediction, uh, Scriptures, released on Nuclear Blast Records last year. So, there we go, Benediction Scriptures, it's the front with the artwork, and the back there. Track listing, Interactions of I, Scriptures and Scarlet, The Crooked Man, Stormcrow, Progenitors of a New Paradigm, Rabbit Carnality, In Our Hands and Scars, Tear Off These Wings, Embrace the Kill, Never Win, The Blood of the End, We Are a Legion, yeah, Nuclear Blast Records 2020. Uh, so that's clear. I'll work inside. And lurking your This is front and back there. Picture and lurking inside. Picture and lyric inside. Now lyric inside. Band member and lyric inside. Band member and lyric inside. Band member and lyric inside. Our working lyric inside. Yeah, uh, Benedictine Scriptures, spread on. Alright. Alright, cool. Alright, so, the last one that I'm going to be showing is the self-titled Debut Full Length by Bathory. Here we go, this is Bathory and Bathory, their first album, uh, with the black goat head, it's front, and uh, the back there. Uh, track listing. Um, Hades, Reaper, Necromancy, Sacrifice, and Conspiracy with Satan, Armageddon, Resident War, Bruce by Corthon and Boss, www.blackmark.net, Black Mark Metal for the World, DMCD 6661, next created by Plastic Head, www.plastichead.com. This is the disc. And the lyric into it there. It's front with the plot go ahead. Back with their other arms. The lyrics inside. Uh, BMC 6661. Produced by Boss and Corthon. Gordon Engineer by Boss and Corthon. Autorities written by Corthon, 
Garden at Emmy Shore Studio. So I'll come to it in June 1984. Publishing and copyright worldwide. Black Mark Production. Album cover design by Corthon. www.blackmark.net. Bathroom at blackmark.net. Yeah, awesome album. Awesome freaking black metal. Absolutely love this album. Yeah, uh, just classic black metal, man. Needs no interruption at all. Alright. So, yeah, that's it for my, uh, video. Um, luckily it's not, like, an hour and ten minutes, like, it was last month. But, um, next video, I'm going to be discuss doing a discussion video about what I think about elitism in the metal community. Um, and then, yeah, whatever comes, comes to the channel, because I'm going to be start doing a Twitch channel as well, so, yeah, uh, whatever comes to the channel comes to my YouTube channel, so, yeah. And, as well as any new subscriber, is welcome to subscribe as always, so, yeah, see you on the next one tomorrow.